challenge is kind of hypersonic travel on Up Earth, and the, down. the point to point ballistic travel. It, it doesn't break any laws of physics. It's got some, it's got some, it's difficult in some ways. It's, rockets tend to be very noisy, so people probably don't want them like in their downtown areas. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to figure out exactly how that works. But there may be hyper, other ways of doing hypersonic travel too. Uh, so I do think that will, that will happen. And living in space, when will be, when do you think we'll be living in space? Well, I think, I believe we'll have, uh, in, you know, in the next kind of couple of decades, I believe there will be millions of people living in space. That's how fast this is going to accelerate. Um, it's interesting, too, because they'll mostly be living there because they want to. Our robotic technology is getting so good. We don't need people to live in space. Anything that, could, that we need done, if you need to do some work on the surface of the moon or anywhere else, we, can, we will be able to send robots to do that work. And that will be much more cost effective than sending humans. And if you were to advise a movie or